Welcome to Antlock Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're going to play Cottage, Cottage Garden. Garden. Yes. Finally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Cottage Garden is uh, designed by Uwe Rosenberg, uh, mm -hmm. published here in the States by uh, Stronghold Games. It plays one to four players in about an hour, and we'll be tile placing beautiful cottage gardens. Indeed. So. I'm so excited. I know you are, so okay. let's take it to the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Here we have Cottage Garden. Yay! Yay, set up for two <laughs> players. And what we're going to do is really just go through uh, what you need to do to set the game up, what all the components represent or what they are, and, and, how, um, and how we set it up for two players especially. So uh, let's go to, well, we'll go over each component section mm -hmm. uh, one at a time. Uh, and then we'll jump into the playthrough. All right, first thing you need is the nursery board. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here you have a bunch of different shape tiles that are, I guess, things you'll find in a garden. Yeah, if you planted them properly, if I you guess. Them, or like built like a <laughs> pond or something, right? right. So you, you set up the board in the middle of the table, and what you do is you look for the side. It's a two-sided board. Um, I believe the other side is for four players mm -hmm. only. But on this side, it's for one, two, or three players. Then you take the gardener die and you put it on two, the side with the two. Pips, for two players. For one or two players. Mm -hmm. and, you place, and you place it here. For three players, you would start it here on the one pip. It tells you right on the board, right? And over the course of the game, every turn, the gardener is going to move one space over and, until he travels all the way, or he or she travels all the way around the board. Uh, and when the gardener gets back to the beginning, it'll go, to, it'll go up one pip, and then it'll keep doing that until it gets to the sixth pip. Mm -hmm. And that triggers end game. So that's important to know just based on, you know, how much time you have left. Yeah. Right? So around the board, you see, and on the board, all of our tile pieces, right? So around the board, you have what's called the garden path. And the garden path starts in front of this handy-dandy wheelbarrow, right, that is mm -hmm. filled with pots. with pots. So we'll get into that in a second. So that is going to go around, and that's going to be our supply uh, to refill the nursery. The nursery now has been randomly filled. Uh, one for each tile, we've put in a tile. Yes. So it's a, a it's like meta, for each like path, so like a meta, meta tile. Uh. Yes. So we have <laughs> tiles of tiles, uh, and that will determine what's available for each player to draft on their turn. And the way you draft is the row or the column that the gardener is on is what you'll be able to draft from. And you could draft any one of those pieces to be put on the board. Let's check out the other components. Okay, here we have the player boards in this game. They're called the, f what are they? They're garden, garden tables. tables. So the little tables. Uh, to do your gardening. On, yeah. yeah, to do your prep, right? Mm -hmm. So on the garden table, it's really your scoring board. And attached or underneath each garden table, we have drawn randomly two uh, garden tiles, which mm -hmm. are your flower beds. I guess, yeah. So they are two-sided, or double-sided, uh, one light and one dark. So you are to draw one light and then have one as dark to start. So each player has that. You also get three cubes of orange and three cubes of blue. And these will be used to track score. And we'll show you how scoring works later on. Um, but that's really it. And this is where you'll be placing all of the uh, tiles you draft onto the board similar to how you would if you've ever played patchwork mm -hmm. right so you can't put them off the board they can't overlap each other they all have to be on the board and, and they all have to fit and you can cover up these pot and garden cloches clo cloches <laughs> like forget. glass pots yes so these basically. glass balls and these pots can be covered by tiles you just won't score them at the end once you completely fill the garden because they are, are what you score and that's how you will move for pots up the orange track and for cloves cloches. cloches they go up the blue track right so we'll go into that as we go through the playthrough and you'll see how that whole mechanic works uh, so the object of the game is obviously to fill gardens you know repeatedly yes. right until the game ends alright so the final thing to note is you have this flower bed off to the side and you've got these two beehives a single and a double beehive uh, and those can be claimed by the first person to move one of their score markers past the 20 spot on the garden table and what we're going to do is we're going to each take turns we're going to draft tiles and place them on our boards either one 
And once you fill up a board completely, and you don't have to fill in these pots or these cloches, they count as being filled, but you can also cover them. But once the board is completely filled with either garden tiles or cloches and pots, it's considered complete on your turn. Uh, you will then score it. That'll go over here. You'll flip it, put it back in the supply, and take the one in the supply and put it back in your garden. So you're constantly, constantly gardening. Constantly gardening. It's, it's awesome. just non-stop <laughs> gardening. So the way it works, um, oh yeah, we have cats. So we each start with two cats as well. And cats you can think of as wild cards. They can be placed on any board during your turn and as many of them as you want. You're only allowed to have at the end of your turn a maximum of two cats. If you have any more, they must immediately be placed on one of your boards. Um, so they're good fillers. So to go over the turn structure a little bit in a little bit more detail, uh, you have two phases. One's called the refresh or refill phase, refill right? Phase, yeah. So what you'll do is you'll look at your board uh, where the gardener is on your turn. You'll notice your row or your column that you'll be able to draft from. And at the beginning of the game, there's always going to be four of these tiles in that in that row or column. So as long as there's at least two or one. At least two, no, at least two left, mm -hmm. you don't have to really do anything for refill. You have the yeah. option to pay mm -hmm. a cat yeah, to, to refill, refill your row or your column, but on a normal turn, if you don't want to spend a cat, as long as there's at least two, two. left, you can draft, you'll draft from that column or row. If there's only one or zero in that column or row, you will start by refilling it and pulling from the front of the wheelbarrow down the line, and you'll start filling that row or column from the space closest to the gardener. Right. Out. And you'll see how that works. It's very time. simple. Yeah. Um, and then once you then the second part is the planting phase where you'll mm -hmm. draft the tile, plant it, or if you don't like any of the tiles available, you can just take a pot from the wheelbarrow and place, place it, it. Yeah. in your garden. And once you place it, you can start putting cats yeah. down, all that good stuff. Um, and then that triggers the end. A couple other things to note real quickly, if you move one of your um, scoring markers and you can move any one of the scoring markers based on how many points you score so if you scored this and I say I filled in everything else and all I had were these pots I would score four pots and move this up four spaces but if you ever cross this red line with any of your markers you gain one cat for every time you get a marker to the to the 20 box you gain one pot that must be placed immediately first one to get to the marker, uh, to the box, like I said before, gets the two. The second player will get the one, and that's just worth one and two points, respectively, at the end of the game. I think that's it. Was that it? Yeah, just right, the parasol. The parasol. Then. You can explain the parasol. Okay, so um, this is the parasol, also known as an umbrella. Yes. And um, basically what will happen is as we're drafting tiles, you might want to pick this tile up and like see how it fits on your board and stuff. But um, as we start taking tiles, you might forget where it came from. So you want to take the parasol and put it um, over top of the empty space where you took the tile from. In that case, if you don't want it, you know exactly where it goes back on the board. Perfect. And I think that about sums up. I want to start gardening. The majority, yes. Yeah, so let's All right. get to it. All right, so you can kick us off with the first turn. Okay. All right, so I will go first. Um, I will take this piece, this beautiful field of poppies. These are double sided too, so just like, you know, patchwork, you can flip them over. I'll put that right there. Uh, yeah, I'll put it right there. Okay. Your turn. So, so let me move this over there. All right. So I will choose. Now, again, you start with the refill, but we know in the beginning of the game there's mm -hmm. no refilling, so you're just going to keep drafting. I'll take, I think I'll take this guy. Okay. Ooh, the strawberry. Is that a strawberry plot? I think so. Cool. I'll put him right there. All right. Your turn. Hmm. It's good big pieces to start. I know. Yeah, it's always easier to start off than it is. I want this one. You want the okay, number one so tile? example of there. I mean, you kind of know where it comes from, but it's good to do that. Well, when the board starts emptying out, it When gets it starts tough. emptying, it does get a little tougher. The number one, number one tile. It is number one. Uh, yeah, let's put that there. Or it's like a J. Or a J. I don't know. It could be so many things. Choose your imagination. Oops. All right. Oh, I messed it up. There oh, you go. Good. I think this guy. I'm not quite. Yeah, I think I'll put him right there. That's a perfect place for my pond. All right, so now we're going to bend around the turn, and now we're drafting rows. Mm. 
Not technically. <laughs> well, you could. It really kind of depends, doesn't it? I think that this would look beautiful in my garden spot. Right? Mm-hmm. Kind of matches, yeah. It does. Looks good. All right. All right, so now we've already hit a refill. Mm -hmm. So we are going to go and from the gardener out, fill, and then the barrow moves up. The barrow. The barrow. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one because it's perfect. So you can kind of plan ahead. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of know what, what row you're going to land on. Exactly. So. You know what's coming up. Yeah. Plan your garden space. That guy's going to go right there. Mm. Yes. Good? Yep. All right. Uh, some pretty good pieces here, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, for sure. Go, go right there. So you can build wherever you want while you're at the refill array. Mm -hmm. Ooh, lots of good pieces. This is a good one. I got to take it. With the one piece? Yeah. This one piece is so good because it's a little <laughs> glass pot, so it gives you points. But those are so hard to fill, you know? Yeah, all right. Your turn? I think. Ooh, such good pieces. <laughs> oh, man. I think I want the picnic table. Mm. There we go. I I am going to take a pot, so okay. I'm going to put a pot right here, and then I'm going to spend one of my cats mm -hmm. and put that right there. So I have completed this board. All right. Yes. So that was let's quite, go okay. scoring. Um, all right. So how this works, I count up my pots, one, two, three, four, five, and so I move one of my orange markers, one, two, three, four, five. And then these garden cloches, I have one, two, three. So you actually get two points for every one of the orange. So you'll see that even though Blue. I have three of oh, the yeah, glass one, ones, yeah. I go up six points. So that's cool. All right, that's it. So um, my cat gets returned. This pot goes back. All these come off and actually get added to the end of the garden path. So they kind of get refreshed. And then this guy gets flipped, set over there, and I take this one. And it is your turn. Okay. Oh, I think I have to take the C. Yeah. Yeah, because it'll fit. So oh, that's nicely. perfect. Right there. Nice. Uh, we have clean slate. Clean slate. I kind of like, like that W piece. I want this W piece. The W piece? The sunflowers. Look, it's going to go right there. There you go. Right? That looks good. That looks good. All right. I'm going to take this. And what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to end up covering one of my pots. Which you can do. I've just forfeit a point. Yes. So. Which sometimes you have to do, yeah. honestly. You know. Not a bad thing. No. Nah. This is like a real cottage garden right now. <laughs> Sunflowers and daisies. That's nice. <laughs> All kinds of nice things. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna take this and finish. Nice. My one garden. Good job. So I will score it now. I get one, two, three, four oranges, and one, two blues. All right. Cool. And I didn't use any. You didn't use any pots cats. or cool. cats. All right, so this guy gets flipped, and now I okay. have this board. And this turns to a three pip, and we start fresh. Okay, your turn. Well, actually, did you move it already? I moved it. Oh, you did. Now. Oh, so you have to fill. I'm gonna fill it. it. Go ahead and fill it. Okay. Beginning of my turn. How those end up right next to each other? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, gotta move that wheelbarrow. All right, I will take you, and I think that'll fit right there. Perfect. 
Yep. Hmm. I'll take this. Mm, nice. It's a long piece. Your turn. Yeah, I can't put that other one, I don't think, anywhere. This is a nice garden. Yeah. I will put this one right somewhere. <laughs> there. Ah, there you go. I nice. Knew. I'd find a place for it. All right. Looks like you got a fill. Okay. Mm. Ooh, so many good pieces. Those big ones are like good for taking up space, mm -hmm. but not when you don't have spaces to fill. No. I'll take this one again. Doesn't really. Is it? There we go. All right. Let's see here. That's no good. That one's actually not bad. I think I'll take that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that one's going to fit on my board without covering stuff up. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. I could do that, but I cover up one of those things. No matter how you... No matter which way you do it. Hmm. You know what I mean? I don't think it'll even fit that's on that board. Crappy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'll just I'll take a pot. Can you grab me a pot? Yeah. Thanks. All right. So I think I'll go with this guy, and I'm going to use a kitty cat mm. to go here. Okay. All right. Nice. So. Oh, good. This is going to score me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I pass the red line, I get another kitty cat. Which I could have just taken the one at. Mm -hmm. That's I okay, used. but it's less confusing. And I get one blue, so I'm here. And that is done. So you wanna mm -hmm. put these up for me, please? Oh, all right, so I flip this board, take the one from the supply, put it back in my garden, and I'm done. Very good. You were up. Oh, really? These pieces? Yes. Uh, big this pieces. is like a plot against my garden. Against your plot? This plot against my plot. Uh, I guess I'm taking another pot. Can you grab me another pot? Sure. Thanks. I can't fit either of those. And I don't want to spend a cat. It's not you very... Just... I know, but it's not very economical. Ergonomical? Maybe. Ergonomical. All right. Two, three, refilling. Wait, where did you refill? Up here. Oh, okay. I thought you were putting them there. Never mind. Sorry. I was not paying attention. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I want? I think I want to go with this guy and put him right here. Yeah, that's a good one for starting board. Yes. Take it away. So, here. It's one there. One there. One there. Perfect. Okay. Um. Mm. Cool. I want to go to this garden. Is it kinda, that pretty? I kind of love it. All right, I'm going to put a cat there. So this is done. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get a cat back. And I have one, two, three of these things. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. You want to put this back in the wheelbarrow? Mm -hmm. Can you slide that wheelbarrow up too? Sure. Okay. So you're all set? Yep. All right. I you think. Me that. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to consider some pieces here. No, you already moved it. Didn't we already move it? No. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure, because you drafted from this row. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Because um, uh, I've been eyeing up these pieces <laughs> when you were taking your turn, which I wouldn't have done if it was in yeah, your row. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? 
So, because I wanted to look at this one uh -huh. and see if I could fit it into my garden somehow. Yeah, I, I will fit it in here like that. Okay. Yeah, you must have moved it. I don't remember moving it. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I moved it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so some of these pieces have the like terracotta pots and stuff right on mm. them, which is a bonus. They're like cheating pieces. That's why you <laughs> love them so much. Love those pieces. All right, so I'm gonna pay a cat and uh, and refill this okay. row. So then I will just fill it up. All right. Mm -hmm. so yeah, cheating piece of your own. And draft my own cheating piece. <laughs> And finish the board. Nice. So either I could have paid a cat, yeah, it you makes know, sense. so it actually is it works out b based on what's available, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got one, two, three. So instead of moving this, I could move this up one, two, three, and then I'm only two pots away. That might be a good idea. One, two, three. But if I didn't want to, I could start moving up a second orange piece because once I get to the twenty, they're done, and you don't want to overshoot the twenty by too much, yeah, because it'd be forfeiting points. So the only thing you can't do is split up the points between Correct. two cubes. So. Right. One, two, three blue. So one, two, three. And I get my kitty cat back. back. See? There you go. All part of the strategy. <laughs> All right, so these guys are going to go up here. And this is going to get flipped. You always end up with all the dark boards. The dark boards, yeah. The dark boards. <laughs> and you may go. Okay. Um. Sunflowers are these things. I'll take these. Oh, more of these. I have like wow. an overgrowth of these what are those? poppies or whatever poppies. they are. They're like ornamental poppies, probably. Poppies. They're what? Like Porta or portobello or poppies? <laughs> so I like the mushroom. Uh. You're so weird. <laughs> oh, that's not a great piece. But I think it will be. Like, it's just, yeah. We put it sideways. Other sideways. Maybe like that? Yeah. Not ideal, but eh. that's what you know. expect from pumpkins. <laughs> All right, there you go. We're at the four now. Okay. Ooh, round four. We're getting close. What can you expect from pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So... Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I am going to go with this piece again. Do you want to go there? Number one, or? That makes it hard when you start building into the middle of the board. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because then you've got a lot of these random single spaces that you yeah. can't fill. Yeah, that stinks. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's a good piece, but I think tea is always really nice. This is a bad board for me because I've, I've blocked myself in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have a lot of single pieces that I'm going to have to fill, which is not really good. Yeah. All right, go ahead. There we go. Yeah, it's easy to fall into that trap mm -hmm. of like Having these like. I mean, it's either that or you start covering things. Yeah, I don't and know. that's where. Yeah. Well, that's you know, where the strategy comes in, right? Yeah, it, cost, it ends up costing you though, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna draft this, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover up one of my cloches, which okay. is that's two points, mm -hmm. you know. So it's it's a tough call. I don't think you're filling. Ooh, that strawberry patch again. That's a good piece, if you can fit it. It is good. Uh, I'm gonna go with, I can't, I can't really fit it in my thing. Well, I could. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to, I'm gonna go with this. Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa. You can't put whoa. that on that board. I'm sorry, what? It's not Why? purple flowers. Weren't you building oh. that purple flower? <laughs> a purple flower garden? That was my, that was this board. Well, that's that yeah. board, all right. <laughs> and then you can play it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take 
and this one. I think right there. Nice. Mmm. I'm tempted to take that piece. I feel like I'm not pumping out as many gardens as I did last game. I know. Like I was just ripping you're through. So, you're doing really pretty well though. You have almost two boards like ready to go. You know what I mean? And so do you. I know. <laughs> We're not talking about me my gardening skills. Uh, uh, why did I think this could go there? I don't know. Oh. Ah, uh, I'd cover up two things though. Oh, I can't, can't even, I can't even go there. What am I thinking? I don't know. Could go there. I could do this okay. one. What are we on round four? Yeah. You have to yeah I could do that. Some things here. I know. For the greater good. And that's cool. What sacrificing things? Yeah, for or the greater good. Flowers? Well, your flowers. I know. I don't. Oh, I don't like doing that though. All right, I'll do it. Cover him up. All right. All right. All Moving on. right. Moving on. Take that glorious Take that. piece. It's a good piece. That cloach. And then I'll put a kitty cat there. All right. So you're board. pumping them out. Mm, but not ideal. <laughs> <sighs> yep. So I'm going to move up. See, what stinks is if I move him up one, uh -huh. then my next board, I'm going to have exactly. to have a one, a which one. is going to kill me. Mm -hmm. So I don't want that. So I'm going to move up a new piece one. And I've got one, two, three, four blues. So I can go here and get them in the end. Or I can move this guy up. Might as well move that guy. One, two, three, four yeah. blues, get a kitty cat. Yeah. And then call it a day. So get rid of that sleeping cat. And clear the board. Oh, that's like a ginormous piece there. <laughs> Doesn't fit quite right. All right. Uh, the, so yeah, flip it. You there? Move you come the down. down. Okay. All right. We I can't ready. use either of those pieces at all. That's unfortunate. Oh, actually, I can, and I think I will. Just to just to finish this up. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. I'll do that. There you okay. go. Okay. And then I use my cat right there. Mm -hmm. So, I've got one, two, three pots, which. Ugh, that's kind of crappy. Well, I'm definitely going to do these cloches, so I'll go one, two for my cloches. Mm -hmm. So that actually worked out, because I would have lost anyway. So can I have the two beehives, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. And I also get a pot for that, mm -hmm. which I have to place right away. And I will place it here. Um, and I have two pots, three, three. pots, mm -hmm. I have three. I'll move this up three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So this is done. Cat goes and back. I'll refill this guy. One and two. Flip. Can you give me that other board, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. What do I want to build here? I think I'll go the safe route and get the piece I need for this guy. All right. Here we go. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Darn it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take maybe like this long piece. Or maybe this piece. Why do you have so many pots on that board? Oh, of know. course you're going to take that. Well, it'll fit perfectly <sighs> there. It fits perfectly on my board. Well, you wouldn't get to draft it anyway until way later. Oh, that's true, because it came right there. Um... This is crappy. 
No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take a pot. Okay. What do I want to do here? I think I will take this and I will use a cat finish it up. to finish it. Yep. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one of these guys. Wow, there's none on this board other than that. So here you go. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move up this one. guy. Yeah, okay. one instead. Uh, these all go back. Here you go. Flip you move it. that wheelbarrow. I will move it. the barrel. And we are here. You slide him up one, and you are ready to go. Hmm. Right? Mm hmm Yeah. All right. Wow, you have like a blank slate. I do. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> At the beginning. <laughs> I know that. Maybe this guy. Right here. It's a good start. Okay. Round five. This is like oh, our last no. real round. Last so round. So you have to be careful. You need to be careful. You need to be careful. Can I have a pot, please? Just keep taking pots. Yep. All the pots. All right. So I have two of these blue cloches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could go one, two, three, four, five. Don't really want to do that. Five, six, seven. Perfect. And a good cat. Mm hmm Giddy. And that's it. You can put this back. Thanks. All right. Move it up. What am I gonna do? I want to really try to fill. I keep getting these light colored boards. You keep getting all the dark ones. I don't know how that's happening. I kind of like these little pieces. Okay. Go. Oh, yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Even better. It's a good piece. It doesn't get better than that. No. All right. Let me think here. I want to try to get as much real estate filled as I possibly can. All right, there you go. Can you bring that wheelbarrow around too? And you might as well grab me a pot out of it. Wait. Really? You're going to take on the pot? No. You've got three spaces to fill. I know. Well, I, was, I didn't see that spot there. Uh, I was going to do a spot and be done with it, but never mind. Um, maybe I'll do these like berries or whatever. That. This is interesting. Is it? Yeah, I don't really like my choices here. Mm. Much at all. You could pay a cat. Do you like any of the new stuff? Uh, no, I mean, I do, but I don't think You don't want to spend it? No, I don't want to spend the cat, to be honest. So, I mean, I could start working my other board instead, which is fine. Yeah, I'll take this one. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Jeez, why 
I don't know. No pieces in the nursery right now. Hmm. It's because we both have boards going. Mm hmm. Let's do. That would take up more space. off with the key. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And that gives me a pot mm -hmm. right away. Keep going. Um, which I'll put there. All right. Let's, and so score. You yeah, did the five. So five and then two for this one. So I'll go one, two and get, get a cat. another cat. Alright. So this is all done. Can you put these back up there for me? Mm hmm Thanks. And this will get flipped. And I Ooh, look at all the cloaches on the back of that board. Yes. Thank you. Alright. Uh, my turn, mm -hmm. right? We're here. I'll take that. Put that here and I'll put a kitty cat here. Alright, so it gives me three blue. One, two, three. Take that. And I get a pot. Okay. So I'll put that pot right here. And I get one, two, three orange. I'll just move him in to the end and I'll take another pot. Okay. Put that here. And that's it. So these are going to go away. It's getting down to the wire. Down to the wire now. Alright, so we go around. Your turn. Cut there, and I'll finish off with the cat. Okay, so we've got two cloaches. Two. And one, two, three, four, five of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I don't so. even know if I'm going to be able to move into the sixth round. All right. I finished that's a this good one. call. One. Can you give me that other one? Yeah. Thank you. That's actually. A good call. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's not enough time. You may not. I may not. I don't I don't think there's any possible way. And we will explain that yeah. in a minute. I would like to take that giant one, but I don't think I can. I can take you. But I don't know if that's a good move. I may want to use you up. Okay. Your turn. It doesn't really matter. Um, I will take this guy, I guess. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right, I can only really use you. I'll put it right there. All right. Yeah. So it begins. All right, the so end. this is the end. It's like winter time now, I guess, or something. It must be. <laughs> so at the start of the sixth round, this signifies end game. And every player whose player board or their garden has less than three tokens on mm -hmm. it. That could be pots, cats, yeah. uh, or actually plants. They are not... They're discarded. Discarded. They're not yep. able to complete. So it looks so. like both of your yep. boards are I'm gone. Done. So you're basically out of the game. Yep. And done scoring. Yes. Every other player who's still in the game, every turn you start by losing two points mm -hmm. until you complete every board. board you have yep. out on the table. 
it really just pushes you to kind of finish up. So. Yep. So it's my turn, right? Yes, it is. So I will lose two points, and I can move them from any of these fields, any yeah. one of my tokens out. Um, and I will draft this guy, and he'll complete my board. There you go. So oh, yeah. it was a very short yeah. end round. <laughs> so I score this up. One, two, three, four, five orange. One, two, three, four, five orange. One blue. And that's it. All right. And now we do final scoring. Final scoring for it's this. Super game. easy because it's, it's all right in front of you. All right, so that's out. Done. Let's score it up. Okay, so scoring, like we said, is very simple. You just add up what you have. Yeah. So what are you looking at? Forty. Right, counters out loud. Let's see. Forty. Uh huh. 55. Yep. 66. 67. 67, yeah. 69. Yep. And I've got 20, 40, 54, 66, 67. Wow. Two points. That's so close. That's it's all, so it all came down to the honey pots. It really, it really kind did. Of. Well, no, we would have tied. <laughs> More or less. Yeah, we would have tied. We would have tied if yeah. I would gotten the other honey pot. But yeah. I would have also sacrificed a lot of points. Yeah. Had I pushed my right. cubes into the end. So that's, that's the balance in this. So yeah. there you go. Great. Cottage garden. So there you have it. Cottage garden. You built a lot of gardens. You did too. Did. Yeah. We should have kept track. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious how, how many gardens you actually get through. You. In a single playthrough. You planted a lot more than you do in real life. Yeah, I plan zero. In <laughs> so, I think it'd be um, like, what, five here? Yeah, I think you, maybe five or six. Five I don't or six know. We'll probably have to like, watch it and see. It would yeah, be we'll neat have, if you could we'll have track. to watch the playthrough. We will have to watch our playthrough Indeed. and see how it went. But. Excellent. Good idea. <laughs> Um, all right, well, let's get into it. So, we've played this several times since we picked it up at Origins. Yes. Um, and uh, Even out there, we played it. We did. We like took it right back and played it immediately. Yeah, that night we played it. Even so. in the dim light of our Airbnb. It was, yeah, it was pretty dark. <laughs> it was no almost lights. like playing by candle. It was weird. Yeah. All right. So. Well, anyway, let's talk about replayability. Okay. So, what do you think? Uh, I, okay. So, basically, if you're familiar with any of uh, Uwe Rosenberg's games already, which I'm sure you are, um, Patchwork obviously comes to mind, right? Because yeah. this, is, this is almost like a sequel to Patchwork, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, in a different theme, but similar mechanics, right? To a degree. Uh, so you've got the tile placements, and with any of these games, just like Patchwork, it's it's almost like a puzzle, right? Yeah. But it's very a puzzle, much. a different puzzle every game, uh, based on your the turn order, based on the layout of of the actual what is that thing called? A garden your nursery. Nursery, the main yeah, board. The main board. Yeah. yeah. So the nursery. You've got the garden path around. So well, you've and got, even how you populate the garden path. And how path. you populate so, it. So you've got all these different variables. You've got the different player boards, your own garden boards that are different uh, because they have different pot placement and different mm -hmm. cloche placement. Um, so many new words I've learned <laughs> playing this game. Uh, so you know, there's a whole you know, strategy in itself and, and a variability with the fact that you've got all these different tiles, right? right. I'd say the same goes for patchwork, right? Because yeah, it's a different sure. you're building a different quilt yeah. every game. So with that alone, I think replayability is you know just is automatically high. You'll I don't think you could play the same game twice no. if you tried. You couldn't. So yeah, absolutely not. So yeah. uh, you know, I mean, obviously it's gonna you're always building gardens uh -huh. uh, in a cottage, but yeah. <laughs> other than that, like the gameplay itself is always going to be different. It's always going to be fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think even with greater player counts, it's gonna, you're really going to churn through those tiles yeah. and start to find that you're probably going to run low on tiles yes. a lot of times because you've got yeah. so many players you know, hogging tiles up on their boards. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, you'll probably end up getting a lot of pots, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess that's how we play. We haven't only played it with two, so I don't know. I can't really speak to it. But I'd say at the end of the day, high replayability. In my Very opinion. good. Yeah. All right. What about weight? Uh, light. It's very light. Yes. Yeah. Confidently light. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty yeah. solid on that, that rating. Cause this yeah. is a, uh, and you, and I know you read it. I didn't read about it though, but you said there's a, there's uh, a children's variant right. too. So it makes it, it, it takes even more of the complexity out of it. I mean, what complexity there is. Yeah, and it's um, so yeah, so it makes it 
fun and we'll talk about audience later but um, definitely a light game yeah I, I can't but challenging in its own right i mean i think it's a good kind of filler yeah, yeah where yeah. like you get through like a brain burner or something and now all you want to do is put pieces together so you're kind of like using a different part of your brain we call that the palate cleanser yeah i know right? <laughs> so yeah it's it's, it's a light game uh, yeah. without a doubt i think it it's quick Easy to mm -hmm. set up, and, and which will bring us into the yeah. next category. So. All right, so let's talk about components then. Components, yeah. So uh, these are right up there with any of Uwe Rosenberg's games. The thick cardboard. Yeah. Uh, really nice hand-drawn art. The art you is know, really very, cool. Very, very pretty in this yeah. game. Uh, right down to the wheelbarrow, right, that you assemble Buy your from the yes. same thick card stock. Just so like it's, you do when you buy a wheelbarrow at yes, Home Depot. Yes, you have to put the tire on. The front tire is important. <laughs> so... But it, it, it actually, it's, it's nice. It's a nice little piece. It gives you more tactile experience. With, yeah, definitely. You know, you're, you're managing this garden. Well, I like that even like on the, I think, like the strawberry patch tile or something, there's like a little pie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. picnic and like a, lot, like a lot of thought went into the art. It's pretty. Yeah, the it's, level of detail is very high. Which I think with this kind of game, it's important because the theme, it just like bleeds theme. So you need to be able to be like, these flowers are very pretty, just mm -hmm. like when you are actually planting flowers. Right, and the cat tokens, there's so yeah, many unique cool. little yeah. sleeping cats that are just, you know, filling up your garden. Right. Which is cool. It's a nice little, a nice way to, to bring that into as a wild token, instead of just yeah. a wild token. Right. right. So it's, it's cool. And it, everything, again, is, it's very detailed drawings, uh, even on your, your uh, garden table. You know, when you cross that red line, there's little mice there. Yeah. <laughs> so and that gets you the cat, right? Because you right. want more cats in your garden to keep the mice out. Because I guess mice in the garden is a problem. Yes. I don't know. I always thought scarecrows. Any crows. kind of rodents are a problem. They, mice are on the ground. They're not gonna look uh, at a scarecrow. <laughs> the crows, maybe. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So um, we're talking about components. Let's let's move on to theme then, because um, I already spoiled it and said it bleeds theme. You sure it did. He gave he, so, cats out of the bag. Cats yeah. out of the bag. <laughs> So, go ahead, talk about theme. Oh, the theme is fantastic. So, I was drawn to this initially based on the theme, I have to say. I mean, we played Patchwork and liked it. Obviously, we like a lot of uh, UV's mm -hmm. games. But uh, we went to Origins and I, like, beelined straight for Cottage Garden because I've been wanting it for such a long time. And to me, I like to garden because it is kind of, you know, stress reliever and mm -hmm. stuff. And this game plays very much the same way. Like, I felt like I was planning gardens almost, just... The flowers were already there, so um, you know, theme just just came right through with this one, and I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I would agree. Anything you'd like to add about that? About the theme? Yeah. No, it's good. It it even the box is cool because it looks like a container. It does. It looks like a wooden box. Yeah. yeah so it's, neat. it's very classy. It's yeah. it's what you would expect from the designer, right? Yes. All right. How about fun? It's Have fun. You game. had fun. I did. All the times I've made you play this game. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Garden theme aside, right? Because mm -hmm. it's not like the first thing I think about. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to build a garden in here. Yeah, yeah. it's just not not my flavor, right? right. Um, but you know, just like building a quilt in patchwork, you know, it's right. not, doesn't really you know pull me in and say you need to build the best quilt ever, yeah. right? So, but without with that, you know that aside, the game is a lot of fun. Like if you like these puzzlers, these Tetrisy type fit the pieces together, like it's you're you're creating your own puzzle yeah you know what I mean you, yeah. you, you've got a blank slate essentially and you've got pieces and you you decide how you put it together right across the two gardens mm -hmm. you decide how quickly you want to finish it or right. do you want to go for some different bonuses or what have you um, so there's so much strategy in that I think it you know that really adds to the fun of this game I would agree completely so All yeah right. it's light enough and it's short enough yes that you don't get so caught up in what you're doing you get more you're so focused on your puzzle that by the time you right. look up, the, the game's already over. Yeah. You know, once you yeah. start pu you know, pumping them out. So right. It goes by really quick, so a lot of fun. Cool. And um, getting to the fun, mm. how is set up? So easy. It's so quick to the fun. Yes, you get to the fun fast. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> minutes. Mere yeah. minutes to get this on you the You put table. the boards out, you sprinkle the, you know, flowers around and stuff, and you're pretty much done. Yeah. So. I like it. Yeah. Very easy. Very easy. Um, audience, who is this for? Anybody. Anyone. And everyone. E anyone for and everyone. everyone. Uh, e for everyone. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I think that this is probably, I would consider this like a good like gateway game. If you know someone who would like to get them into gaming a little bit. Yeah. Or, you know, real board games and not just, you know, the stuff you pick up at the store. Maybe. Right. Um, 
because there's a little bit of complexity, so it's fun for those of us who like heavier games, and you know that we love heavy games. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still fun, uh, but it's very simple in terms of the rules and things like yeah. that. And it's pretty to look at. So Yeah, so I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of, it all follows that garden theme, right? So there's yes. a, a number of games we've played over the year and a half or two years we've been uh -huh. doing this, right? Um, that, you know, you really got sucked into the garden theme. You know? Right. You think of like, like Butterfly Garden, Herbaceous. Uh, herbaceous and, I did. and this one, right? Yeah. So they all kind of feel mm -hmm. gardeny, very yeah. springy. Yeah. So it's like the theme is there. So they're definitely. It's good. It's good. I feel like this is going to be one I pull out in the winter when we're like buried under ice and snow and yeah. feeling really miserable. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, I, it's very I, cool. I do like it. All right, cool. So uh, conclusions. What else would you like to say? Anything? Uh, no, I like it. I, I, I think it at the very least met my expectations and my mm -hmm. bar for Uve is pretty high. Yeah, Just exactly. because everything that that's mm -hmm. come out, you know, has been really good. Right. Right. So you yeah. always have this expectation of it to be quality out of the box, right? Yes. Um, so and I know like with Patchwork we really enjoyed that one so this one had to at least live up to those standards and I think it's, it's yeah. beaten those standards for me. Yeah, it, it exceeded my expectations I think. Um, I, I mean I again my bar was pretty high too. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of thinking it was going to be Patchwork repackaged as a garden yeah. theme and it was in my opinion so much more than that. Yeah. Not to say anything you know negative about Patchwork because we enjoy it a lot but the mechanics in, in this game are different than what we got with Patchwork, and that was refreshing. So yeah, it's I a really different game. It. Very different. It is a very different mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Um, just because it's got the same kind of tiles, don't let that fool you. Yes, yeah. it plays completely different. Yeah. Um, but nice. I, I I prefer this one. Yes. Personally. Oh yeah, me too. I think it's just yeah. there's more to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've got a lot more, a lot more options than yes. I did in Patchwork. You're very yeah, constricted yeah. in Patchwork to that board of, right. of tiles, right? So you're drafting. Well, yeah, and you're only doing like the one board. And you're yeah. actually purchasing the tiles and you're buying and, like, tiles. The buttons and stuff. You're not necessarily drafting them right. you know, for free. Yeah. So, so there's, again, there's just differences, different. yeah. Mm -hmm. But so that's it. What would you rate this game? Oh my, I have no idea. No, we, we decided you're going to rate it. <laughs> okay, you keep doing this to me. I don't know. Why. Um, well, these are your like, yeah, like the, these no, are your honestly, big games. So I think yeah, this what, was one that your rating will carry more. I mean, we did more. like our lists and stuff. You know, this was the, like one of the ones I was like, I have to have this this year. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, I had expectations for it. It exceeded my expectations. I think it's very good. Um, you know, I tend to on the higher end, like when I rate things, like much, much, much higher. It's usually like a heavy game that really challenges me. Mm. Um, I would give this one a brilliant. Um, for me, it kind of pushes it into that brilliant category because of the theme and because of how well it's done and how, how nicely it plays and the fact that I could probably bring this out and play it with anyone that I know, not just my board gaming friends. Yes. Yeah. I would agree. You would agree right. with yeah, me. Yeah, so okay. I, I would rate this a brilliant, but it would be lower on the brilliant mm -hmm. tier, right? And it would be a, or it would be a high grade, right? So you've got great, you've got brilliant, you've got outstanding. I'm just so Straddling we're, so we're all clear on yes. the on the rating scale here, right? So great is obviously a great game. We really like mm -hmm. it, but it's not quite, it's not blowing it's our socks there. off, yeah. right? So this for you kind of blew your socks off. You yeah, loved it, sure. every bit of it. You loved it, so you put it in the uh, brilliant category. I I like it a lot. I think it's a little bit better than just great. So mm -hmm. I will say, yeah, it's probably somewhere. In All that right. gray area that falls in between those two categories. So he agrees with me. Fair enough. So I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll push over to the other side All right. of the line. Cool. And, and we'll go with brilliant. All right. Sounds good. Cool. So there you have it, Cottage Garden. This is the number eight in the Great Designer series of Stronghold Games. So and they've had some winners in that series. They have, yeah. You know, Terraforming Mars. Yeah. Uh, what's the Cowboy one? Great, Great Western Trail. Trail. Yeah, such good games, good games. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough and the review, and we will see you next time. See ya.